fined U.S. to block Bagudu's claim on Abacha Lut. The United Kingdom has joined the United States in resisting an alleged plan by the federal government to hand over nearly $110 million out of money the American authorities claim was stolen by the late dictator, General Sani Abacha, to KB State Governor Al-Haji Abubakar Bagudu. The three governments are involved in a dispute over investment portfolios worth 141 million euros, traced to Abacha and held in trust for Bagudu and his family. Bloomberg reported that the federal government is seeking the approval of a UK court for the country to take ownership of the assets before returning 70% of the proceeds to Bagudu under the terms of a 2018 deal. The UK government's National Crime Agency is opposing the Federal Republic of Nigeria's application, according to a motion filed by Bagudu's brother, Ibrahim, to the District Court for the Mid District of Columbia in the US capital on March 30. The U.S. Department of Justice said in February that its Nigerian counterpart was hindering its efforts to recover the allegedly laundered money from the U.K. Bagudu was alleged to be part of a network controlled by Abacha that embezzled, misappropriated, and extorted billions from the government of Nigeria, according to the Department of Justice. While successive Nigerian governments have repatriated billions of dollars looted by Abacha, who died in office in 1998, the administration of President Muhammad Buhari said it's prevented from assisting the United States ongoing for future efforts by an agreement between Bagudu and a previous government in 2003. Abacha is estimated to have stolen as much as $5 billion during his five-year rule. That 2003 settlement, which was approved by a UK court, allowed Bagudu to return $163 million to Nigeria without admitting to wrongdoing, according to US court filings. In return, the government dropped all outstanding civil and criminal claims against him. Bagudu was elected a senator in 2009 and the governor of KB State six years later. Five years after the United States launched fresh for future proceedings against him, Bagudu and Buhari's administration struck a new accord in October 2018 to transfer ownership of the investment portfolios to the Nigerian state which would immediately pay 98.5 million euros to Bagudu and his affiliates. The terms of the updated settlement could not be implemented. While Nigerians' application in a UK court is pending and a freezy order is still in place, according to a motion by Ibrahim Bagudu, who is entitled to a $100,000 annuity from the funds, and is contesting the U.S. confiscation efforts. Neither the Bagudus nor representative of the Director of oh, sorry, Department of Justice, NCA, Nigerian Attorney General, or Ibrahim Bagudu, responded to requests by Bloomberg for comment. Although the Department of Justice and the NCA opposed the 2018 settlement, Ibrahim Bagudu and the U.S. government recently commenced preliminary discussions regarding a, potentially, a potential negotiated resolution to this matter. According to a notion filed by the U.S. government to the district court on March 18, the federal government had said it was mischievous to claim that it asked the United States to give $100 million from loot recovered from former military dictator Sani Abacha to the KB state governor. The Bagudu family, the Bagudu family's assets in, in contention, which constitute a, district, a distinct and separate course of action, 
do not have anything to do with the assets already recovered and being recovered under the Abacha 2014 non-prosecution agreement. A spokesman to the Attorney General and Justice Minister, Mr. Abubakar Malami, had said in a statement, it is therefore mischievous and pedestrian for anyone to seek to turn the law and the facts on its head on the matter of repatriation, whose terms are clearly spelled out and agreed upon uh, uh, agreed among the parties, the statement had said. All right, guys, that is what it is. That's the news story so far. You can see um, that the U.S. is actually and the UK are now working in collaboration to deny um, Nigeria the repatriation of this fund because of what um, the president of Nigeria, his administration and the cabal plan to do with the money once the money is repatriated to Nigeria. It is alleged by uh, the US and the UK now that a percentage of that money, you know, is, is going to be going to or will be going to um, the KB state governor, Bakudu, based on an agreement they had with the government in 2018. So, which the Department of Justice of the United States of America got a wind of, and by so doing, they are trying to withhold the money from getting back to Bakudu. It has been alleged that Bagudu, you know, was part of the network that Abacha used in looting five billion dollars from Nigeria. So you can see how these guys are actually still trailing that money and they want that money back or part of the money back. So you can see how these guys are looting Nigerians' money without any fear or favor. So this is what it is. And now the governments of both the UK and the United States have refused or are refusing to let go of the money. You recall that yesterday we reported that the United States senators you know, have told the president of America not to repatriate the funds to Nigeria until they are certain and guaranteed that the funds will be used by the administration of President Muhammadu Buhari for infrastructural development and not to be reluted or siphoned by the administration or leaders of this administration. You can see how bad Nigerians have, you know, or Nigerians are suspected, or Nigerian leaders are suspected outside the country by their counterparts. Because Nigerians leader, Nigerian leaders are known, you know, to be looters. That is just a fact. They are known to be looters. They loot public funds. How can one person own such amount of money? Where did he get it from? What business is the person into? How did he make so such amount of money? You know, these are questions that need to be asked. Any person who is in government, you know, and ha is claiming to have such amount of money, definitely has stolen from the government, has stolen from the people. That is just the truth. Look at them. No little wonder they, they, they kill the maim and they take, you know, dubious and uh, unimaginable steps just to get into power because they just want this power. They are after money, 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 money. So guys, what are your thoughts on this particular issue? Do you think this is right? Do you think the government of the UK and the United States should, should, should actually, you know, refund this money or repatriate these funds back to Nigeria? For me, I should say no, they should still leave it. They should keep it. They should keep investing the money over there. Let the money be making uh, more, more gains. You know, if Warren needs money, he should find me, he should, he should look for me to, you know, get money and solve problems that he wants to solve. That money should not be returned to him because it, there's no way. A huge percentage of that money, if not all, will be relooted by people under Buhari. They already have agreement in principle to give uh, uh, Bakudu over a hundred uh, and something million naira, million dollars out of that money, not naira, hundred and something million dollars. So tell me, what is that KB State government going to use that money for? What is he going to use that? Where is he going to keep the money? How did he make that money? How did he get that money in the first place? These are questions, you know, when people make money, you know, and nobody is 
questioning them or asking for their source of money and all what I do. So this is just part of it. So you can imagine, just one person. So it's really, really sad and unfortunate how things, you know, have become like this in this country. Well, guys, kindly drop by the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are on this particular news story. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly, you know, hit the bell icon so you can get to know. So you can get notification whenever we post a new story. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And uh, I'll see you on the other news. Have a wonderful time.